Here I'm Chrissy with Divine Design Tarot and today we're doing a weekly reading for Sagittarius. Um, I'm picking up all the energies that are circulating around me and just remember we all possess free will so we can change anything at any time. You're not bound by tarot at all. Um, let's see, cross watchers are welcome. Just keep in mind that roles may be reversed. Let's see. Um, oh, and all messages from Spirit are timeless. So if you're here with me now, there is something in this message for you. I'm going to do a cut across. We're going to do your energy, your person's energy, your intention, their attention, what you think, what they think. External, internal, uh, spirits, advice, and the outcome. Okay. All right. Let's just get busy here. We're going to pull your energy here. And yeah, it's the Hierophant. Wow. Perhaps you're going through an awakening. Um, some kind of spiritual awakening of some sort. Maybe you're ascending. <laughs> I like that card. That's really beautiful. Okay, so your energy is the Hierophant. Wow, okay. Uh, your person's energy is the Four of Pentacles. They're hanging on to something here. Let's see. Your intention. Oops, you got two cards. Your intention is judgment and the king of pentacles. So, surrendering. Going with the flow. surrendering about money <laughs> it's about money it's about the way you look at money and abundance or you feel abundant and you know you have in order to have the abundance you have to feel the abundance you have to free yourself and let the universe they're doing something in behind that you don't see the universe is orchestrating something that has to do with finances. Hmm. Okay, so your person's intention is Seven of Pentacles, something long term possible growth here, something that matures or grows into a, um, a harvest but it's just starting now so it could be something that you manifested a little while ago and it's starting to come to fruition now what is it that you think oh, you just want to be happy you have all the elements in your life going for you they're all going well, they're all doing well, they're all bright and looking beautiful with the sun card. Wow. Okay. And your person thinks, the two of pentacles, that whatever they're faced with, that they can juggle it and conquer and be successful at it. That they can have whatever thrown at them, they'll be able to continually juggle whatever it is flawlessly, effortlessly. They adapt. They adapt well. What's the external forces? Ace of Swords. This is truth. This is a new beginning. Maybe a new beginning with more truth in it. No lies. This 
something you're thinking about or an idea. The beginning of something new or creative. Perhaps the universe helps with an idea. Eight of Pentacles. You're working on it. Whatever this idea is, Spirit's advice is seem to have some regrets for you're very hard on yourself. What's the outcome? Magician. You need to get out of regret of what you coulda, woulda, shoulda and manifest what you really want. Really take the time to think about it too because whatever you manifest will come to fruition. So, and if it's not something you really want and it comes forward, you're going to have a bit of karma if you don't take it, right? I mean, we all have free will, but I mean, you know, if you're meant to go down a path that the universe has got planned for you, um, you still have the free will to do something different. But eventually you're going to end up learning the same lesson over and over again until you actually learn it and stick with it and the universe will keep testing you um, to see if you still remember the lesson okay let's see bottom of the deck there's the challenge ten of cups <laughs> your true happiness maybe is your challenge what truly makes you happy okay that's your challenge. Let's look at another deck here to clarify some of the story that we have here in these cards. Maybe it can help us determine what your story is. Remember, take only what resonates. Whatever doesn't resonate, don't make it fit if it doesn't fit to your story. Okay? Let's do this. The Hierophant is your energy. It's clarified by the sun. So you have life-changing, positive. Perhaps you find your gifts, spiritual gifts. And you have happiness in all areas of your life. You have arrived. <laughs> Sagittarius, wow. Four of Pentacles is your person's energy. Um, they're hanging on to somebody from the past. Maybe you're that person. Your intention is to set yourself free about your um, belief about money. King of Pentacles again. So you change you change the way you feel about money by setting yourself free and letting the universe intervene. Judgment call. Could be good karma. Very good karma. Your person's intention is to have equal give and take, cooperation, someone that's balanced, someone that gives to charity, is very giving, loving, generous. 
The sun, you think. Hmm. You're liking the idea of being single, actually. This is the single card you're willing to give three pentacles. You're willing to share your wealth, your life, your sunshine with somebody. What's the two pentacles about? Okay, so maybe you were juggled and sent into a hardship um, with finance. Maybe the juggle was too rough to juggle and you gave up or you quit. Two of Pentacles is adapting though. Two of Pentacles is is adapting and is Yeah. So why the financial lack? Can I get another card for the Five of Pentacles? Hmm. Even though you have been adapting to everything that has been thrown at you, Sagittarius, where even when it comes to financial uh, hardship, you're still happy for what you have in life. You are grateful for what you do have. You have a roof over your head. You're doing okay, right? So even though you're in financial hardship, you're still happy, happy about what you do have in your life. External is Ace of Swords clarified by the Four of Pentacles. So, <clears throat> could be that your idea you might not have enough money for to do it. Could be that you need to save up to get to where you want to go with this idea. What's this Eight of Pentacles? Hmm. Somebody's watching you. The Page of Swords. <coughs> Maybe on social media. Maybe they're watching you work. What's the Nine of Swords? What's the regret? Oh, Page of Pentacles. Somebody had an offer that perhaps you regret turning down. What's the magician? That's the outcome. There's some kind of re see the spirit's advice is don't regret or you have regret. You're not supposed to regret it. Knight of Pentacles. You're thinking about an offer that you feel like you should have taken. You regret not taking it. This is a magician. Ace of Wands is a, a new idea, a new beginning. Handing out an olive branch to someone, being friendly to somebody that you had conflict with, perhaps. Ten of Cups is clarified by <laughs> the Ten of Cups. So Sagittarius, I don't think it matters what you do, you're still going to have happiness in your life. <laughs> happiness as a challenge, clarified by the fairy tale, happiness, same card. That's, wow, with the sun and all this yellow and gold here. I like this for you.
<laughs> the King of Pentacles twice? I mean... <laughs> if this is karma, uh, good karma, then please give me more. <laughs> right? Ten of Cups twice. Wow, Sagittarius, you really hit it. I like this for you. You have a new beginning. You have single. You're happy. The sun, you're the hierophant. You're awakened fully. You're very happy. Yeah. I like it. Well, that's all I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you liked your reading. And please share the love by um, like, sharing, and subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell for Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot readings and messages from Spirit for when they're uploaded. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye for now.